like to go through the instruments of the orchestra with you. This will help prepare you for the essay question on next week's test. The orchestra has four groups in it, the strings, woodwinds, brass, and percussion. As a music appreciation student, I'd like you to be able to uh, acquaint yourself with the instruments, know which uh, category they fall under, and ideally what they sound like. So um, let me go through the, the groups with you and uh, the individual instruments. Chapter 5 covers this, but uh, these are the four instruments that I'd like you to know in each group. The strings have the violin, viola, cello, and bass. The woodwinds have the flute, oboe, clarinet, bassoon. Brass has trumpet, French horn, trombone, and tuba. And the percussion, percussion has actually, it couldn't be a pretty long list, but these are some of the typical percussion that you might see. Timpani, bass drum, cymbals, and snare drum. The best way to, to identify an instrument is is to hear it live. There's really no better way. But um, the resources that are provided here are pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and there's a couple ways you can access the musical elements. This should look familiar. Uh, one way is to is to go to the weekly learning modules and you'll see it there in the in the folder that's called um, resources and materials. And I also added a, a, a link here just so that it'll be easier, quicker to get to. So I click on this. And just a reminder, you have to have the ebook. For some reason, you have to have it open to uh, be able to access this. So I'm going to click on, on tone color. This is in chapter five. This um, tone color has to do with why one instrument sounds different than another. Like, for example, why does the flute sound different than the oboe? And as listeners, what we're concerned with is being able to, to hear that. So here are the instrument families. I, I did uh, want to tell you that Wright categorizes, well, he gives you five different groups. And actually, on my first slide, I just gave you these four. I don't worry about that. Um, keyboard is, you know, of course, a very common instrument for piano, for example. Now, it's very common to see a piano at a concert. But it's more likely that you'll see it up front as a solo instrument, like a Beethoven piano concerto or a, a Mozart piano concerto. It's, it's uh, less common to see the keyboard actually inside of the orchestra. If you do, it's probably a pretty modern piece where the keyboard would be in the back with the percussion. So for the test, I only want you to talk about the strings, woodwinds, brass, and percussion. And, and don't worry so much about the uh, keyboard as a category. These are the instruments, and uh, you can listen to them. The recordings are pretty good. So I'm not going to go through all of these with you because you can do this on your own. But just to point out a couple things. First of all, here we have the strings, um, violins, violas, cellos, and basses. The violins are, violin, first violin and second violin are actually the same instrument. They're just playing different parts. So violin, viola, cello, bass are your four primary string instruments. In the woodwind family, you've got the flute, oboe, clarinet, and bassoon. That doesn't mean that you won't see others. You might see a small uh, instrument that looks like the flute, which is called the piccolo. And that's very, very common, but um, you don't need to include that as a primary instrument because it's, it's actually not always there, whereas these usually are. Um, oboe is standard. Uh, you might see an instrument that looks kind of like the oboe. It's called the English horn. It can, it's a little bit bigger, and it, and it can play a fifth lower than the oboe. Not to be confused with the French horn that's a brass instrument. The uh, clarinet family, you have the standard clarinet. Actually, there's tons of different kinds of clarinets. Um, you have the, um, the, the regular B-flat clarinet, and then uh, you might see something called a bass clarinet or even something called an E-flat or an A clarinet. Um, there's a lot of different clarinets. The bassoon is a standard woodwind. Um, sometimes, especially after the 19th century, you'll see an instrument called the contra bassoon, which is much bigger than the regular bassoon. It can play an octave lower. But again, to repeat myself, these are the four primary uh, woodwind instruments. You have the flute, oboe, clarinet, and bassoon. Same thing with the brass. 
you may see uh, instruments that uh, go beyond the four that are, are shown here, but standard is to have the trumpet, the French horn, the trombone, that's the instrument that has the slide on it, and then you have the tuba. These instruments are all made out of brass. They have the funnel-shaped mouthpiece. Um, you might wonder about the saxophone. That's also made out of brass. Actually, it's not that common to find the saxophone in the orchestra. There's some Russian composers used it. Uh, Ravel used it in Bolero. Sometimes the saxophone is there, but not that often. And while it is made out of brass, they play um, using a reed and a mouthpiece, just like the clarinet. So it's actually the saxophone, which is made out of brass, is a member of the woodwind family. That leaves us with one more group here, the percussion family. Um, Percussionists play a huge variety of instruments, so you might see um, many other types of percussion instruments in the orchestra. These are just some of the more common ones. Uh, timpani, which are the same thing as kettle drums, are pitched percussion instruments. Uh, any kind of drum, bass drum, snare drum, tom-toms, any kind of drum will be a percussion instrument. We also see pictured here the cymbals and the um, looks like the bells there's some kind of mallet instrument here possibly the xylophone or the marimba and you might also hear a triangle or a cowbell so anyway the list of percussion instruments is pretty long let's see one thing that I forgot there you'll see pictured here the harps it's actually pretty common to see a harp after from the 19th century on especially in French music it's pretty uncommon to see more than one. Um, the French composer Debussy sometimes wrote for more than one, but if you're going to see a harp, it's usually just one. And again, the uh, best way to practice is just to go to lots of concerts and hear them live. <laughs>